All right, everyone, let's just get going with the job. So I'm just going to go with package.json and run the start script. So npm run start, it would enable our React development server. And meanwhile, what we can do is just go ahead and remove the files which we not, do not need at the moment. That is the test.dsx, right? Um, I guess we don't need this one as well. We don't need to have the service worker for us, right? So that's that. We don't want the service worker file either. There we go. No testing for now. And uh, probably no logo as well, but I'm just going to keep it before we, you know, just see that output. So is the browser uh, let's see if, if our build is running so it's starting the development server it says that service worker is not found and uh, okay so that should not be a problem but it says that logo.svg is also not found so obviously you need a declaration file for that but it's not available so anyway i'm not gonna go ahead and fix the declaration for now but we can just go ahead and move that to trash so once we do that we should be able to see that it compiles successfully and we should have our react page with us right all right so once we have that in place what we want to do is we want to integrate our react material ui and how do we do that is we make use of a library called material ui with react right so material ui this is the library which we can make use of and uh, basically it would provide us with a lot of components which we can make use of out of the box and as you can see the installation steps are pretty straightforward so you just have to you know install the material ui core library which would give you access to the core components right or you can just install material ui icons library as well if you want to have access to icons and the usage is pretty simple as well you just have to import the particular components and get started with them so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this right maybe change the indentation as well because who the hell indents with a space right there we are and uh, once this is all installed and done let me just zoom in here real quick once this is all installed and done we should be able to you know just copy this thing and just see a button real quick on our page and of course we need to import the button as well actually we can just make use of the destructuring instead of like going to the whole button thing and get rid of semicolons as well so there we are right once you hit save it would compile it to regular javascript and serve it to the browser meanwhile we can just go back to the local host and wait for it to compile all right so once it's done we can see that on the browser we get a nice little hello world button in the center of the in the horizontal center at least right so yeah that's how pretty much you're going to integrate material ui with this and that's all for this one in the next one we'll start off with creating some layouts for our own page and see how we can proceed with it so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one.